Thank you for joining us today for the Procedures Module help video. The Procedures Module is used to document, track the details of the procedures performed, and communicate the procedure codes and diagnosis codes to E. Thomas. This feature will help make the office more efficient and decrease the amount of time to process and transmit the billing to insurance companies. Click the Procedures button to access. When the module is accessed for the first time, the system will prompt the user to add a new procedure. This screen will show you all procedure codes in EHR Thomas database. Each procedure box will display the code and description given to the procedure. Click on the categories along the left-hand side to filter the procedure attached to specific categories. Enter the search criteria into the search field to search for specific categories. Select to sort by code, description, CPT code, or SNOMED. Click the Sort button to sort in ascending or descending order. Single-click the desired procedure under the All Codes header to move procedure under the selected procedures. The order you select the procedure is reflected on the note. Once the system performs a procedure for a specific diagnosis, the system will remember the diagnosis code and the procedure performed. The system will provide a list of suggested codes to the user to perform. The diagnosis displayed in the Patient Diagnosis drop-down will be defaulted for any of the selected procedures. View another patient diagnosis in the recommended procedure for the diagnosis. Click the Patient Diagnosis drop-down and select the desired diagnosis for the patient. Each selected procedure will have a defaulted diagnosis attached. Click the Procedure Diagnosis drop-down to change the specific diagnosis for the procedure. Select the procedure to be removed and click the Remove button to remove an option from the list of selected procedures. Click Next to add selected procedures to the patient's procedure order. Click the Cancel button to cancel the procedure order. Procedure tracking is where the information about the procedure is documented. See all of the patient's procedures performed or canceled. Click the Show All checkbox. Click the Order button to add a new procedure to the list. Click Close to close out of the module without saving the procedure order. Each procedure will have its own set of buttons and data fields. By default, the additional procedure information will be displayed. Click the Diagnosis drop-down to select the primary diagnosis for the procedure. Click the Location Edit button to indicate the specific location of where the procedure will be performed. Click the Location drop-down to select the location that was previously documented in EHR Thomas. Click the Perform button to perform the procedure. Click the Remove button to remove the procedure. Change the quantity performed if necessary. Change the qualifier for the procedure performed in units, minutes, or miles if necessary. Enter any modifiers to be attached to the procedure codes. Modifiers will default from the procedure code files. Click the Don't Send checkbox to prevent the procedure code from being sent to E. Thomas. If the patient refused the procedure recommended, click the Refuse checkbox, then enter the refusal reason using a code and notes. If a diagnosis order needs to be created, click the Create Order checkbox. This will create a DX order for your patients. The additional diagnosis list will display all of the diagnoses that are in addition to the primary diagnosis. Click the Add Diagnosis button to add an additional diagnosis. Click the Add All Diagnosis button to add all of the diagnoses from the condition tracking list. Click a diagnosis from the additional diagnosis list that should be removed and click the Remove Diagnosis button. The Request Note allows the user to order a procedure and leave comments to the person who will be performing the procedure. If a procedure was ordered and hasn't been performed, it will be added to the patient's task list. At the bottom of the screen, click the Perform button for a single procedure or Perform All for all to navigate to the Perform Procedure Tracking screen. The Perform Procedure is where the information about the procedure is entered, such as procedure notes, time performed and finished, and any post-operative diagnosis. The top of the screen will display all the procedures that have been ordered. The checkbox next to the procedure indicates the procedures that will be performed. Uncheck the checkbox for the procedure you do not want to perform right away. Each procedure has its own set of properties and procedure note questions. 
Review each procedure's information by clicking on the procedure to highlight it green. The procedure line is a listing of the performed procedure diagnoses, location, CPT code, EHR Thomas user, and the date and time recorded. Click the Body Location Edit to change the location of where the procedure is taking place. Edit the questions attached to the procedure code by clicking the Edit Question button to add, modify, or delete questions from the code if you have questions attached to the procedure. If it's free text, there are no questions to edit. Click the Calendar button to change the date and times the procedure was performed or indicate the time the procedure was performed. Indicate the diagnosis after the procedure was performed. Click the Post Operative Diagnosis button. Edit the answers to the questions for the procedure performed. Click the Edit the Answer Selection button. The procedure template will be located at the bottom of the screen. The procedure can be set up with free text, canned text, or a question and answer format. Filling out the procedure note template is optional. Once all areas of the perform procedures have been filled out appropriately, click the Perform button. Click Cancel to discard any changes. After the procedures have been performed, you will have the ability to make adjustments to any of the information. Click Save to save all the performed procedures. There are two ways to modify a procedure note once the procedure has been performed. First method is by typing directly into the procedure note box. Second method is to click the Edit the Answer Selection button next to the Procedure Note header, which will allow the user to go back to the Procedure Note template questions, make adjustments, and repopulate the template verbiage. The patient note will order by the timestamp of when the procedure was performed, the later timestamp on top and the most recent at the bottom. The system will perform the procedures in the order selected when adding procedures. Move procedures up and down by changing the timestamps to the appropriate order. If you have any further questions or need additional help, please call the Genius Solutions EHR Thomas Support Department at 586-751-9080, option 7. Thank you.